Hi everybody, I'm Florida Trailblazer exploring the history and wilderness of Florida and today I'm in these beautiful woods at Withacoochee State Forest. This is the location of many small towns during the 1800s and some traces from the past still remain today including an old cemetery. Let's take a hike into the woods and journey into the past and discover this old cemetery. Hiking further into the woods here and following this old pathway which may have been used as a road long ago and it's elevated above the swamps here it's really nice out here what's interesting you can see the darker shade on the trees there and that's how high the water gets during certain times of the year. We've arrived at this gate where the old cemetery is. It's called Oriole Cemetery. Some refer to it as the Giddens Homestead Cemetery. It existed back in the 1800s near the old town of Oriole. Let's go in and take a look around. Walking into the cemetery a very special place. Here is the cemetery. Such a peaceful area here in the woods. A place of history. Many of the folks buried here were early settlers of the area. Let's take a walk around and look at some of these tombstones. Today the cemetery is overgrown and surrounded by these woods, but back in the early days of this site, it would have looked much different. You can see here, this person was born in 1885 and passed away in 1890. Sadly, many folks during those times didn't live a long life. It was a hard time. Nineteen o two to nineteen o three, only lived to be one year. Here's a woodman of the world. Memorial. This person 
was born in 1884 and passed away in 1917. Here's one with the name of Giddens. Was born in 1865 and passed away in 1891. Only lived to be 27. Here's another Giddens grave site, Elizabeth Giddens. Born in 1849 and passed away in 1876. See some tombstones placed up against a tree here. Back here is one of my favorite graves at the site. This is little Joe, Joseph Franklin. And he was born in 1886 and passed away in 1888. So he only lived to be two years old. So there's a view of the cemetery. And even though towns and homesteads these folks lived at back in those times are long gone the memories of them still remain here and may they forever rest in peace Exploring further into the woods here, near the old town site of Oriole, seeing some ruins around the area, and appears to have been part of some kind of mill that was out here at one time. more ruins around the area here. I've seen similar foundations at sites where sawmills used to be and I do know that Oriole has a history of phosphate mining so this could have been associated with that as well. It's really hard to say Could have been used for multiple purposes. It's really interesting though. You can see where a structure was attached here. Some larger foundations out here. is interesting over here in the woods buried into the ground are some more ruins 